Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining in details on to a types of flames which will be generating for gas welding process. So let us start with the theory. So just you can see the neutral flame. So into the neutral flames, the oxygen and acetylene which will be having a same proportion or you can say one gem one. So as from the figure shows that it will be having a two con. One it will be indication as an inner cons which will be having a red colors and that will be around double three double zero degree centigrade temperature. And the neutral frame which will be having a outer envelope which will be around one two six zero Celsius. So such kind of orientations by the mixer of oxygen and acetylene with the same proportions. So that will be known as a neutral flame. So a neutral flame is produced when approximately equal volumes of oxygen and acetylene are mixed with the welding torch and burned at the torch tip. So more accurately oxygen to acetylene ratio that will be 1 gem 1 or you can say 1.1 to the one. The temperature of the neutral flame is of order about double three double zero degree centigrade. We already discussing over here. Then a flame has a nicely defined uh, inner cons. It is surrounded by an outer flame envelope produced by combination of the oxygen in the air and superheated carbon monoxide and hydrogen gases from the inner cone. So this envelope is usually much darker blue than inner cone. So just you can see the orientation of neutral flame. A neutral flame is named so because it affects no chemical changes onto the molten metal and therefore will not oxidize or can say carbidize the metal. So that will be having a one of the advantages of neutral flame. So as from the orientations and the temperature range, the neutral flame is commonly used for the welding onto the mild steel, stainless steels, cast irons, copper, aluminiums. So this will be all for a neutral flame. Now we will discussing for oxidizing flame. So into the oxidizing flame, just you can see oxygen and acetylene. So that will be 1.5 gem 1. So into the oxidizing flame, the proportion of the oxygen that will be the higher side or you can say enrichment by an oxygen with acetylene. So as shown from the figure, it will be also making a two zones. So that will be inner zone, which will be having a more pointed and outer envelope. So which will be into small and narrow. So into the oxidizing flame, after the neutral flame, has been established. The supply of oxygen is further increased. So the result that will be oxidizing flame. An oxidizing flame can be recognized by the small cone which is shorter and more pointed than the neutral flame. So that will be the orientation of oxidizing flame. The outer flame envelope is much shorter than a neutral flame. An oxidizing flame tend to be hotter than a neutral flame because of the higher amount of oxygen is being supplied to making an oxidizing flame. So this is because of excess oxygen and which causes the temperature to rise as high as compared to neutral flame. The excess oxygen tends to combine with many metals to form hard, brittle, low strength oxides. For these reasons, an oxidizing flame is of the limited use into the welding. So it is not used into the welding onto the steels. A slightly oxidizing flame is helpful when welding most of the onto the copper based metals, zinc based metals. After the oxidizing flame, now we will discuss it for reducing flame. So just you can see the orientations, it will be having a three different joint. So into the inner cones, that will be the bright luminous inner cone. In between, there will be the acetylene feathers and outer, it will be a blue envelope. So a reducing flame has an approximately temperature around 3000 degree centigrade. 
or you can also say that it will be carburizing flame or you can say reducing flame but in case of the reducing flame if the volume of the oxygen supply is to the neutral flame is reduced so the resulting flame will be carburizing or you can say reducing flame or in simple way enrichment into the acetylene sign so a reducing flame can be recognized by acetylene fissures which exist between the inner cone and to the outer envelope the outer flame envelope is longer than that of the neutral flames and is usually much brighter into the color a reducing flame does not complete the consumes the available carbon therefore it is burning temperature is lower and left over carbon is forced into the molten metal so with iron and steel it produces very hard brittle substance known as an iron carbide so these chemical changes makes the metal unfit for the many applications so in which the weld may be need to be bent or can stay stretched so metals and tend to observe a carbon should not be welded with the reducing flame so that will be the most of the disadvantage now we will discussing for carburizing flame so a reducing flame may be distinguished from carburizing flame by the fact that a carburizing flame contains more acetylene than a reducing flame a carburizing flame is used into the welding of lead and for carburizing or you can say for a surface hardening process a reducing flame on to the another hand does not carburize the metals rather it ensures the absence of oxidizing conditions so it is used for welding with a low alloy steel rods and for welding those metals or you can say it will be considered as a non ferrous that do not tend to be absorbed the carbons so this flame is very well used for the welding with high carbon steel so after the study about these four kind of flames so what will be the conclusions so for most welding operations the neutral flame is correct but the other types of flames are sometimes needed for a special welds it means if you work for non ferrous alloys and high carbon steel may be required a reducing flame while zinc bearing alloy may be need to oxidizing flame for the welding purpose so this is a in general conclusions of the different kind of flames is being used into the gas welding process now as per your parent materials and your applications you would like to select or arrange the such kind of flames for the gas welding process so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching